G'day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 2 of my multiplayer series against Old Crow Belpazor. We're playing the 1916 Line of Africa campaign, which is part of the Empires in Turmoil DLC for Strategic Command World War 1. I'm commanding the Allies, he's the Germans. Our first turn was a bit of a mess, so let's see what happens. Still retreats. I'll take that. Hello, what are you doing there? I'm not sure if he's trying to draw me in or just trying to consolidate somewhere. Um, okay, the Goatson's out. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do with the Portuguese. Um, I have to look at the map, but a pop up that I read a number of months ago when I wrote this thing doesn't exactly need to be revisited. So priority number one has to be preventing him from being able to go and raid the rear. Priority two is actually destroying him. Because as long as he's able to launch raids everywhere, we'll be chasing him into the wilderness and that's going to be very annoying. Once we've sealed him into various pockets, then we can destroy the forces at will. That's the weak one. Alright. Seeing as it's rainy season, oh actually rather than repairing stuff, I'd better research some some things that will be very valuable. Doesn't help that I forgot how many how many kits I allow each tech to be in this campaign. In all the ones in Civil War it's it's two, but I don't remember what what I ended up making the rule for this campaign because World One works a little bit differently. Had to try and reflect that in like what's already in the game. Hello, you're Okay, he's got something in there, because these three flipped. Those aren't going to be able to move quickly enough. That is unfortunate. Make sure he knows I'm here. Okay. Supply there is going to be horrific. Um, gotta be really careful in this area. It is possible to launch deep strikes from about there and capture a lot of these if you play it carefully, so... Let's bring you over. What's supply going to look like there? Not very good. I might leave you here for now. Bring you down. Make sure he knows where I am. Bring you forward and then I'll start sealing that idiot off. Okay. Either corn will be safe as long as I've got something here and something there. Hello, you're half half supply or something. Smash him. It would be nice if we could force him into a few retreats early on. I'm not sure if the gods of war are going to favour us that much. Okay, that is a weak one. What do we got down here? We got you. Transport's too expensive, or I'm pretty sure Portugal is at least allowed one of them. I'm in this funny spot. I, I designed um, Lion of Africa, the first of the campaigns in the um, DLC and we 
had it all tested a lot lot earlier than most of the others were. So I haven't actually looked at it for quite a bit longer than say the Balkan League campaigns, um which we were testing later in the in the process. So last time I played this would have been about July I think. Um maybe August. Um it means I haven't looked at it in about four months or something. Um, so even though I wrote it and I, in theory, know how everything about it works, um, I've forgotten a bit too. <laughs> oh well, I still have several months advantage over anyone who didn't have a part in designing it, which is nearly everyone, so... I don't think I'm going to be too far set back by that. Alright, what are we going to build? What are we going to build? 40, 135, that will be next turn, that will be fine. Uh, that will be supply 1, won't it? Supply 2. Okay, that is good news. I don't know if he's going to chase me out. Um, he might. I probably would. But I would have also held up there for another three turns before pulling back if I thought I could do it. Um, it's also going to be a event saying pay for medical care because we assembled this wonderful invasion force for about 20,000 soldiers but we forgot to give them <laughs> any bandages. So, well, it's not bandages, it's quinine or something but yeah they all die of tropical disease and suddenly oh no we've got actually like take care of our troops uh, seven you would be able to get in there not want that to happen there's you can do a lot of mischief by running around the portuguese territories as the germans I won't be able to entrench. I can entrench you. That would not be a bad move. What I also need to remember to do, and if my past history is anything to go by, I will not remember to do it. Build some HQs. I got thoroughly mashed in 1904 in the last series I did on YouTube that... Because I kept forgetting to build HQs until it was too late, and it's like, oh, there's only six months left in the game. Can't build them anymore, there's no point. Um, so... I think that's everyone that needs moving. Except for you. I might hold you back just so I get better supply next turn and... He doesn't, you know, try and run off or cause trouble. And we'll hit end turn. And German fighting spirit is falling. The goats and out. I do not care about it. And this is our guys forgetting to bring their bandages on campaign with them. Alright, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.